Right, welcome back. Monitoring is fine, creating resources are completely fine. However, as an administrator or business owner or product owner, costing is really important. You got to got to have some sort of limitation or foundation around what you want to do, how much resources do you want to spin up or how much money you want to pay for a particular resources or particular subscription. In your case, what's going to happen is there are going to be multiple uh, subscription which is going to be like laid down over here and you could go to one of the subscription start checking the cost also if you go to the subscription there's something called as cost management and as uh, you enter into the subscription it's going to give you a brief sneak peek about what's happening inside your subscription in terms of cost as you can see i have been very mindful about what how i'm spending and it's going to give us a broad view or holistic view about how much we've been spending in Azure. If you go to the cost analysis, it's going to break down your entire costing per resources, per resource group, per subscription, how much money you have spent. Uh, and now comes the benefit of creating your tags. So now if I would like to drill down my resources based on tag, what I could do is I could, could go to the group and click on tag and then it's gonna list down all of my tag and I could simply filter down all the resources which has the owner tag and the owner owner would be Sean that's what I created and as you can see that blue one uh, is identifying that it has got a Sean tag and uh, the other color has been untagged this uh, the, the sea green color and then you could drill down your uh, costing based on the services also you could drill down your cost based on resources also if I just try to clear down right from here you could get your costing based on resources so what type of resources you've been using whether you're using a compute whether you're using a storage account whether you're using a web farm you could also filter down your co cost based on location meter price model or publishers or service name you could also filter down using the resource group and that's the by default way of getting all the resources costing you could also set a budget and you could always download the costing for you and filter down probably based on location so basis on all your location you might have different resources for different locations so basis on uh, west us east us or india region you can drill down the costing and then you can probably download or share amongst your user also all right there's something called a cost alert also just like normal alert monitoring alert you have configured what you could do is you could start getting alerts if you somebody has uh, created more number of resources and let's suppose you want to get alerts whenever your budget has reached beyond certain limits so let's suppose i'm going to create a alert alert for budgeting and expiration date i'm going to keep it as so give your budget amount threshold let's suppose i want to get notified whenever a thousand inr has reached and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on next and i can select the action group which i already have remember we have created an action group for storage account so i could select that and the type would be actual or forecast and then you can start your email address right over here also all right once that's done you could just start creating and you could um, also put in how much amount of percentage of amount you want to threshold to be to, to be reached and then you got to alert or get notified i want to uh, probably 10 percent of my entire budget which is 100 bucks so i have set a threshold previously of thousand rupees and what I've done is if it reaches 10% of the entire amount, I could do it for 100% also, which means as soon as the budget reaches 1000, I'm going to get notified that, okay, uh, listen, you're alerting, you're getting this alert because your budget has reached to almost what you have set limit to. And now you can go back to your administrator and ask, probably we need to curb down few of the cost and probably delete some of the unused resources as well. So go ahead and play Azure costing on your environment. There's nothing to get scared about. So it's all read only information. So 
play as much as you can and get a knack of how cost analysis is done on Azure. I hope this was informative. Thank you.